Get up DC, your mail is about to be hit with a little more soul. That's because starting today you can buy stamps featuring DC's own Marvin Gaye. It's all part of the US Postal Service's Music Icon Series. Now our Michael Quander explains the Prince of Souls connection to the city. Stamp. That's Marvin Gaye's face on a stamp. The U.S. Postal Service is honoring the Motown era legend with a forever stamp and recognizing him as one of the most influential music performers of his generation. Gay is a D.C. native who left his imprint all over the city. He was born at the old Freedman's Hospital, a building that now houses Howard University's radio station and communication school. His family used to live over in Simple City and then moved to Deanwood. He went to the now-closed Randall Jr. High School and then over to Cardoza, where he dropped out to focus on singing. The singer went on to top charts with songs like What's Going On, Let's Get It On, and Ain't Nothing Like the Real Thing. Gay became known as the Prince of Soul, and performed at famous D.C. venues like the Kennedy Center and Howard Theater. D.C. even named a park and a recreation center after Gay, stamping his legacy on the city that raised him. Michael Quander, WUSA 9. Anybody else want to hear Michael Quander's greatest hits? I know I did. <laughs> now, I believe yes. Duke Ellington has Very a stamp. So. Now, Marvin Gay has a stamp. Can we get genuine? Can we, no. get, can we all come full circle and get genuine? We don't have to listen to Pony then. Pony was a true no. class. So anxious. <laughs> same OG. Blasphemy. All right. Thank you very much, Michael. Now, the stamps are available at your local post office or you can buy them online. We posted a link to where you can get them on our website, WSA9.com. And I'll be starting my movement to get genuine.